Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at the view composers and uh, in order to demonstrate those we're going to make some changes. So if we go into the update window you can see that the status drop down list has got three entries and they are at the moment hard coded. So what we're going to do is first of all we will create a new table uh, which will contain statuses and instead of hard coding each option we're going to get them from that table. Let's find where these options are currently hard coded. So if we go into the project, if we go into resources, views, tickets and we're looking at the uh, show view for this one now status so here we've got the select and we have got open in progress and closed all hard coded and we're going to um, replace this with a bit of code which will retrieve the statuses from a new table on the command line let's create oh I'll just control C to stop the server running um, we need to create a new model called status so PHP artisan make model status okay that will create the model but we also need a migration so we'll put the M modifier on that. We don't need a controller because um, we're going to populate the data in the table ourselves but if we did need a controller we would add the C there. So let's just run this. Uh, it's created the migration. Models created successfully. Okay that's completed so back in the project close this down. In app you can see there's a new status model we've just created that and in databases database migrations we have a new migration for creating the statuses table so we'll open that up this will be a very simple table uh, we will have a string and we will call it the name, the name of the status. And we will also have, although this won't be used, uh, text. We'll have a description for it. There we go. Back to the command line. Let's run the migration. Okay, so it's migrated. So let's check in PHP My Admin. There's our tickets database. Just refresh this. And we now have a statuses table. Let's have a look at the structure. So we've got the name and the description that we added to our, our migration. Now I'm just going to populate this new table with um, the same values that we are currently hard coding so uh, we will have an, oh, let's just remind myself, I can't remember whether we use capital letters or not alright okay so yep yeah, we're using capitals so back over here we've got open um, I'll just leave the description as the same thing we've got in progress Uh, just copy that Ooh. copy that and paste into the description and okay let's add those and then I'll just add um, the final one for completed now is it complete or completed oh it's closed wrong closed closed Okay, so browsing that, we've got open, in progress, closed. Now, what we will first do is add the code directly to the show view here, 
to extract the um, the values from the new table and then we will uh, move the code to um, another partial that we will include and that way we can uh, include it on as many different views as we like right then we need an at for each and we'll close that with an end for each there and it's status as state status status as as status now let's copy one of these options and what do we need so um the value is now coming from the model so it will be status name and in actual fact every time we see uh, the hard coded value of open we can actually replace that with um, status name so let's just copy that and paste it in there oh we don't need the curly braces and paste it in there okay let me just check that so da, 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 da. get rid of those quotes so if the ticket status is equal to this status then it's selected okay that looks good it's crunch time let's get rid of these hard-coded options and see whether our new code works save that and refreshing the page will it work no you know why it's because we ended the server so let's start it up again and refresh the page oh it's looking bad of course statuses we uh, we haven't loaded statuses with um, values from the database yet so um, at this point we have nothing in statuses so um, we'll sort that out now the place to do that of course is the controller so app http controllers ticket controller and it was the show where is it the show method so in here we need to load up the um, statuses variable so we'll do that here statuses equals status get and we don't know what status is so we'll import the uh, namespace and we also need to send it to the view so we'll send an array of variables here is that spelt right? no statuses I think that's right and back on the page that's better now these values are coming from the database and just to test that let's add a new entry to the table so back over in PHP admin let's add a new one reopened not that that makes a lot of sense but we'll add it anyway and then back over on the page refresh oh and there's the new entry we just added to the table 
So we know that this code works. So we can extract it to a new partial. And so, um, close these down. In resources, views, uh, where is it? There it is. So we've got all those. Let's create a new one. And we'll call it status. Um, yeah, just statuses. So I can never spell this. Statuses. Dot blade. Dot php. And we will remove. What shall we do? Shall we? Yeah, we'll remove all of this div. Like so. Include layouts dot partials dot uh, statuses. Save that and then over here we'll paste it. Uh, let's get rid of these empty lines. Okay, so we've got this form group with the status drop down in there. In the show view, we are including it. Okay, so it looks okay. Uh, let's check it on the page. Refresh. Oh, looks like it worked. There is one problem with what we've done here, though. This is the show view. If we go back, uh, go into the the new ticket page, right, this is still using the old hard-coded values. So we would need to um, amend the new ticket page as well, which is bad because we're ending up duplicating code. So we need some way to uh, make this available everywhere. Of course, the um, <laughs> this partial is available everywhere. What what I really mean is that the um, the code that we've got here in the show method um, at the moment we're going to need to um, duplicate that in the um, in the create method, and that's undesirable because we're, we're just repeating code. So we need to actually make um, this bit of code available everywhere. What we will do is we will copy the include for the status drop down from the show view and we'll put it in the create view. So that's here. Paste it in. Right, that should that should actually break the add ticket view and refreshing. It does, it breaks it. To retrieve the statuses and make them available everywhere, we're going to go into App Providers, App Service Provider, and in the boot method, we're going to add some new code. Let's see if I can remember how to write this code. View Composer. Now we'll give it the the name of the uh, the view, so it's layouts partials statuses, and what are we going to give it? Okay, uh, we've saved that. Back over on the page, refresh. Oh, look at this. Undefined variable ticket. I think I know why uh, this is a problem. Um, if we come over here. So we're testing the current um, status of the ticket 
we're comparing that with um, the status from the database but when we're adding a new ticket we don't have we don't have a ticket object so how can we get around this well we can test whether the ticket is empty so if not empty put the ticket in there so if the ticket is not empty use the ticket status else use blank and we can do a similar thing for testing whether the uh, this particular status is selected so if not empty um, yeah that looks good save and head over to the page refresh hola it seems to be working and it obviously is because um, it's retrieving the, the new entry reopened from the database we've done it using view composers in app service provider this piece of code here makes the statuses from the status table available to the um, statuses partial from anywhere in the controller so as you can see in the create method we're not loading up the um, uh, statuses, statuses variable because that's all handled in the uh, app service provider this means of course that um, back in the ticket controller in the show method we can get rid of this line that loads up the uh, statuses so get rid of it save it and we'll go back and we'll update it works